there's all the spores came out. So did you score? Or did you pass them to me? That's cool. Clear. And then the funding that we have in there is just a recommended funding. We can talk about that today. Great. Appreciate there being a recommendation there. That, that, means it, that means it won't take two hours. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get the conversation going for sure. Are we over there? So, Jill, then, uh, yeah, we're right. so then after. My chambers, the view on it, so that I can do it. We can make a motion at the end to accept the. Do you want me to go through this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, special meeting, so we can. Yeah, I think I'll, I can just go through this if you want. We can talk about the differences in the scoring if we need to, and then just go over the recommendation. Maybe in light of in light of three, I'll chime in. Sounds good. Just better. <laughs> By the way, Peter has to leave. Okay, I don't, this shouldn't take too long. Famous last words. I know, huh? Did anyone like a copy of the agenda? I was just gonna pull it up on my phone. Yes, I would. Thank you very much. for Serena. Oh, yeah, here. 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 Mm -hmm. Here. All right, well, good morning, everyone, and welcome. We're going to call the meeting to order and roll call. So I call this meeting to order. Thank you all for attending this morning. Uh, Morning, Secretary. We'll have to take roll, and I do have to make an announcement regarding uh, for members of the public that can participate in the meeting by attending a meeting in person can go ahead and do so. Uh, we are also uh, have a Zoom uh, link available, and uh, do I need to spell out the Zoom link address? Um, uh, SRC dash uh, or dot zoom dot us backslash j you can probably just give the webinar IDs and oh well it's that last little bit of numbers on the link okay I think it's uh eight four four eight one four eight eight seven three one eight four six three three eight six two two nine two okay all right thank you for that clarification uh, the reporting secretary will not take roll. Board member Anderson. I think you might be muted oh. there. There we go, present. All righty. Uh, board member Myers. Present. Board member Renteria. Present. Uh, Chair Rivero. Present. And board member Rumble. Present. All righty. I'll let the record reflect that all board members are present. And then... Uh... Sorry to interrupt, but I need a request uh, that I will be attending this meeting remotely under AB 2449, applying the just cause provision of AB 2449 due to co contagious illness I have. 
I'll uh, participate with both audio and video turned on throughout the meeting. And in this room, I'm not accompanied by anyone over the age of 18. Thank you, Todd. Uh, thank you. All right. Item to number two of public comments. So this is the time when any person may address matters not listed on the agenda, but which are within the subject matter of the jurisdiction. The public may comment on the agenda items when the items are called, and each speaker is allowed three minutes. Uh, Jack, do you want to go and review how the public may comment? Um, yeah, if you are in person or in this case via Zoom as well and wish to make a comment, you can raise your hand. Uh, you'll have three minutes for your comment and a countdown timer will alert you at the conclusion of that period. Thank you. All right, and again, uh, this is a special meeting that we're holding um, to discuss the following items, uh, such as uh, item number three on the agenda, event support applications and listed on their <clears throat> Uh, item number three are uh, the uh, names of the events that are taking place throughout the 2024 calendar year. And uh, uh, it goes as such. Item 3.1 is the California Artisan Cheese Festival. Item 3.2, the 2024 Monster Truck Spring Nationals, Santa Rosa. Item 3.3, Beer Fest, the good one. 3.4, Country Summer Music Festival. Item 3.5, the SoCo Market. Item 3.6, 2024 Snoopy's Senior World Hockey Tournament. 3.7, Sonoma County Hot Air Balloon Classic. 3.8, Santa Rosa Marathon. 3.9, DJEF Triathlon Race Series. <clears throat> Are there any questions uh, from the board uh, on the these items. Okay, any public comments? And I also invited uh, our acting deputy director for economic development, Jill Scott, who's going to talk about um, uh, scoring. The, about the scoring. Uh, we, 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 but we do have uh, item number four, which will address the scoring results review. Want me to go through that? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, excuse me. Um, I'm just going to go through a little bit of the scoring. So, all of our board members scored um, the events with the same criteria. Everybody had the same three questions. The questions, uh, the first question was based um, directly out of the ordinance for the actual um, usages of the SRTBIA funds, and that was weighted more heavily than the other two questions because of the use of the funds and where they come from. And out of the scores, um, the averages, um, the top, it was pretty clear, the top ones. So Santa Rosa Marathon was 87.5%. Country Summer, 86.3. Uh, 2024 Snoopy Senior World Hockey Tournament scored 86.3% in a tie with Country Summer. Beer Fest, the good one, um, is 83.8%. 2024 Monster Truck Spring Nationals came in at 78.8%. Sonoma County Hot Air Balloon Classic, and this is the first time they've requested money here, came in at 72.5%. 2024 DJFE Triathlon at 70%, and then SoCo Market at, what is it? I just cut it off. Uh, so close. 57.5%. Um, so um, based on the scoring um, from the members, and I guess before I go into recommended funding, is there any questions from the board members or the public on where the scoring criteria came out at? We don't have anyone joined on Zoom today, so I'd say no public comment. Okay, and board members, do you have any questions about the scoring? Nope. Okay. Um, so we went together as staff to make a recommendation to the board on how to fund and how much to fund, but it is open for discussion and for um, if the board members have questions or concerns or want to make a recommendation to change. So based on the scoring criteria, um, Santa Rosa Marathon came out at the top. They asked for $20,000, and so the recommendation was $20,000, so the full funding. Um, country Summer 
came in, well, a tie for second, and they asked for 30,000, so the recommendation is a full funding of 30,000. Snoopy's Senior World Hockey Tournament came in at the tie for second as well. They requested 20,000 and the recommendation is for a full 20,000 of funding. Um, next is Beer Fest. They requested 2,500 and it's the recommendation is for tw the full $2,500. They came in at 83.8%. Next one is Monster Truck Spring Nationals. They requested 3,000. They came in at 78.8%, so the recommendation is for the full 3,000. Then the triathlon series, um, they requested 15,827.14. Now, hot they, the hot or excuse me, the hot, I'm sorry, the hot balloon air classic. Um, this is the first time that they have requested funds. They came in at 72.5%. The recommendation is 5,000. Now why staff came up with that recommendation is based on the attendance and the percentage of out of town people coming in for the event. Also um, in their request, they spoke about um, hotels in Runner Park and this is for hotels in Santa Rosa. And so that's why um, the request or the funding amount, the recommendation is a little bit smaller than what the request is. Um, the triad, yeah, the allowable expenses also. Um, some of, there's very specifics about what allowable expenses can be paid for. Um, basically what we're covering is the majority of their marketing expense, which is an allowable expense. Some of the other expenses they put in there were not allowable. Um, so that's why the request is, um, or the funding recommendation is smaller. Um, next is 2024 triathlon. They requested 2,500. Um, last year, they requested a thousand. Um, and so we funded them at a thousand. And the reason for that recommendation also is just, it's a very small amount of people. Um, it doesn't bring a whole lot of people into town. So we thought that was probably a smaller example. And the same with SoCo Market. They actually requested $15,000, which is uh, and we're recommending $1,000 because although it's a great event, it is a smaller event that um, doesn't seem to bring in a lot of out of town people into hotels um, to actually stay in hotels. So that was, um, you know, the recommendations and what was behind those, but please open it up to the board. Um, is there anything that you'd like to change? Any um, concerns you have or just comments? No, go ahead and open it up. Any uh, discussion on the board? Uh, just an overall sort of level setting for us. Um, Rafael, you mentioned to me uh, before the meeting started, but sort of the overall funds available, right? I think it would probably be helpful just to level set everybody and okay. uh, sort of where we're, where we're at with that and what might we expect um, any other use uh, of the funds for other events and that kind of thing. Okay. Just to level set us, right? Good idea. Um, and Serena can probably jump in on this. So I'll just start. We're a little, we have 82,500 this year mm -hmm. um, for the first side of events, which is a, a little bit less than the 100,000 that we normally have. Um, and that's due to um, some extra funds being given out at the, the end of the last quarter or the last event set. Um, there are, there's a whole nother set of funds for community promotions that we've moved a lot of these people into, um, a lot of the events that, so you're not going to see all of the events on here right. because those are going to be funded by community promotions, which is through the city. And I think and it's, provided that in this sheet. Right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a sep that's mm -hmm. a separate one. Um, and just for everybody's individual and for the public's information, um, Wednesday Night Market and Rose Parade will be funded separately through the city. Um, so that's kind of where we are. Is there anything you want to add, Serena? Nope, you covered it, actually. <clears throat> Does that make sense to everyone, or is there any questions? I, I have one, sorry. Um, so last year, there was a secondary window for applications to be submitted and reviewed and approved mm -hmm. in the last quarter of the year. So then, is this 82.5 the total bucket of money for all of 2024, or is there an... Yeah, go ahead. So... 
Yes and no. And I say that because the way that the money is budgeted. So the city's fiscal year is based off of a July 1 to June date, whereas the Visit Santa Rosa is the January 1 through December. So basically, there's $100,000 for any given 12-month cycle. So the, um, the applications that were funded during the fall basically were the difference between 100,000 and 825. So about 17,5 was spent. So this is the remaining balance of that. So, so if the July one, uh, we'll, until July we'll, get one. Our, we'll get new funds again. Okay. okay so mm -hmm. um, when the next round of application window opens for people to submit and be approved, then there's an, a new pot. We don't need to necessarily. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Sh yes. Shave off anything. Here. Yes. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. So in summary, we have 82,500 today. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Donna, did you have a question? No, I, that was my question. I want to know okay. how much we had right now. And okay. 82,000 is what we, yeah. Mm -hmm. What you're playing with here right now. Todd, any questions? Not any questions, though. No. Okay. Uh, and again, the triathlon, uh, which takes place uh, in September, uh, brings in or has a total of participation of 150 people, and it's 50% local folks plus 50% people from out of town. And I, th and I think one thing, too, about the triathlon, just to point out because of the date aspect of it, it's at the end of September, but because the event occurs Prior to the deadline of the next round of funding, they were required to apply during this round of funding. Okay, any comment, any further discussion from the board? Any comments from the public? I had a comment. It, with the scoring criteria, it, it seems to me that a lot of these events that are seem to be it seems like we're kind of a permanent funding source like country summer and monster trucks and events like that that are clearly making money or else they wouldn't keep coming back and it seems to me like that thirty thousand we're going to give them um might be better used for smaller events or something or more i don't know i it just it's difficult for me to keep funding these events that are clearly making money and coming in during high demand periods. To me, that's not really putting heads in beds because the hotels are going to be sold out anyways on a weekend in July. It seems to me that's just pushing people, the overflow to Rohnert Park and Windsor and other areas that are not in the SRTBIA or area because the Santa Rosa hotels are already full. I think we can also keep in mind, though, for events like that, Todd, um, we're using, they are using a Santa Rosa Hotel, the AC this year, as their host hotel for their um, staff and volunteers. So they'll be here um, midweek as well. Um, so it's a total of, I think, 15 days. And that was an arrangement that um, our sales team um, made with them this year. No, it's for something summer. else to keep in mind. Correct. Sorry, what? Correct. Country Summer. Oh, yeah. Country Summer, yeah. But, but I mean, I hear what you're saying. I mean, uh, I, I think part of this was uh, thought of, uh, you know, putting seed money into a lot of these events and therefore we continue to fund some of the same events. So I don't know if at some point we'll entertain the idea of perhaps maybe not funding those same events and instead funding some new events that will bring heads and beds. And yeah, maybe we could add that to a, a future meetings agenda. Um, possibly putting a limit on the number of times or, or just discussing this is, is an option for the future. I think it's a, I think it's an interesting conversation and one worth having taught for sure. Um, just a note that we don't have other events to sort of, you know, there aren't mm -hmm. any other events here before us. And so, um, I'm certainly comfortable expending what we have to support the the events that have an application and knowing that more will come uh, later in the year and we'll have a little bit more money to play 
play with. But yeah, I think Todd, to your point, the the conversation around kind of what we want to accomplish and how we want to spend our funds is a very valuable conversation to have. I, I, I agree and think that it would be a great conversation to have, especially before the budget yeah. mm -hmm. um, for next year, if you are all interested. Uh, any further discussion? Public comments? So seeing that there's not, so uh, and this was a part of, do we make a motion to, mm -hmm. so uh, now I'm gonna move to the part to, uh, anyone want like to make a motion uh, to approve the recommendation uh, for the funding for this year's uh, March 31st, 2024 deadline for event support. I'll make that motion. With my appreciation to city staff for having recommendations before us rather than having us uh, make sausage on the fly. <laughs> so thank you. Someone like to second? I'll second that motion. Okay. So uh, board member Anderson. You're on mute. You're on mute there. I'm trying to get him on mute. Aye. <laughs> uh, board member Renteria. Aye. Uh, Chair Rivero. Aye. And then uh, board member Rumble. Aye. And let the record reflect that we have four ayes and no nays. <laughs> Motion approved. All right. So. Uh, next item is uh, adjournment of the meeting. So if there aren't any more comments, public comments, discussion, I'd like to adjourn the meeting. Meeting adjourned. All right. Thank yeah. you, everybody. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. That was quick and easy. Uh, great to see you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone for scoring. I know it was a fast deadline, so it's much, much appreciated. For breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Waffles. Thank <laughs> you.